Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a guide on how to beat Aegis MK11, aka Entity, in Project Pokemon. But Project Pokemon's been taken down for two years, so I had one of my friends, Amon, or no, he became my friend. I had one of my friends um, show me this game. So I'm going to show you how to beat the entire game or i'm gonna show you how to beat entity aka aegis mk11 or dussel or whatever so what you're so i'm just gonna show you how to do that let me just close the leaderboard and this is taking a while but so what you're gonna want to do oh my god stop so this is my team. So you're gonna want to have a Deoxy Speed form, which, if you don't know how to get this, um, so what you're gonna do is, um, so you're gonna want to grab a Lunatone. So you're gonna want to grab a Lunatone and a Soul Rock. Oh my. God, I keep selecting move. And a soul rock. Put them into your team. So you're just going to drag them. Or you're going to press move and put them in your team. And then you're just going to go to Mysterious Grotto. And there's a grass patch. I'll have a guide on that later on how to do it. So I'll have a guide on that coming out later. But what you're going to want to do is turn it into speed form, which I'll sh also show you how to do that later. Um, you're going to want to teach it Zap Cannon and also Psycho Boost if the F Aegis gets fully paralyzed or if you just... Or you will activate it. Next, you're going to want to have... A Pokemon with fake tears. I chose Jinx because it can still uh, outspeed. As you can see, speed 226. Um, it is very good. It is a very good speed stat for this. It can easily outspeed Aegis MK11 without um uh, while it's paralyzed. So what you're going to want to do is use, is use fake tears, and that sharply lowers the opponent's special defense. And then what you're going to want to do is grab some Pokemon with special or physical, with special, with fire moves, but prioritize special moves. So I have some, so I have, um this that i that my friend tiffany gave me i have an or pidgeot with heat wave and a pidgeotite um i have a talon flame that i'm giving out if you guys join if you guys add me and join me in the game and join me while I'm playing Amethyst and challenge me to a battle. If you beat me, I will be giving out prize Pokemon. There is something that if you beat me in a rated battle, you'll get normal Pokemon. But the first person to beat me in a rated in um in anything goes battle will get a shiny Pokemon. But you're gonna wanna have so four Pokemon with fire moves. I also have a Talon Flame with Flame bl with Flare Blitz, um, a Typhlosion with Flamethrower, and a Groudon with Fire Blast and Lava Plume. And then you're want going to want to. It's really easy to get money in this game, but so just battle the XP bots with. A level 100 Pokemon and uh, EXP share off 
or just a level 100 Pokemon. And then you're going to want to go to the Pokemon Mart, go to competitive items, and buy the Poke Improve, and use that six times on all of your Pokemon, or less if they have max IVs in one or two stats. But then you're going to want to uh, go to the near city. You're going to want to Press on this taxi, dude. I'm, and you're going to want to go to Celadon City, which I am currently at. You're going to teleport into Celadon City, and then you're going to go over past the Pokey Shop, and you're gonna go over to uh, the sign that says Celadon City. This is, and then you're gonna round the corner towards the sign, and then you're going to tap on this NPC. I've already beat this, but, so you're going to tap on it, and it's just going to bring up some dialogue, just tap through that, and now you get to fight the entity. So what you're going to want to do is have Yacht's ass in the front of your party, and zap cannon, I need to turn this down, but that's going to paralyze it, and then just do another zap cannon, because it's the only attack that you can do that does that but i might actually use up okay no i won't how oh my god i'm getting so much luck on this okay it finally hit me but now we're gonna switch into jinx after your deoxys s faints or goes down you're gonna want to use fake tears and then you're just gonna get one shot by bullet spray then you're going to want to bring in your fire Pokemon. I mean, this is my only non-fire Pokemon, but you want to bring in a Pokemon that knows a fire move, and you fire me. I like to prioritize um, Mega Pokemon first, so I'm using my Mega to be off. But, uh, of course, it always misses that uh, Heat Wave. It always misses Heat Wave. But now I'm going to go to Groudon. I'm having a horrible walk. Dude, I might have to redo this so I can show you what happens if you win. I'm having horrible walk right now. Blair Blitz. Oh, I critted it. What? What? <laughs> Wait. Uh, I'm just gonna sweat. Let's go. And then some weird dialogue, and then a mere mortal, a mere mortal defeated the almighty Aegis MK11. Looks like this world is actually worth taking. For defeating a mortal, I shall give you a reward. I do not know what mortal is like, and you will get money. But it goes down every time that you beat it, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to go ahead and beat it again on camera, because I need to reach 15 minutes. I need to reach 15 minutes in this video. Yeah, that thing just destroyed my entire team. But I'm going to go ahead and beat this thing again because i need to reach 10 minutes i am running low on healing items i'm actually running low on healing items so yeah you can just keep battling this this is not as good of a farm as um as the weedle trainer the exp bots in the beginning, but it does give you two attack EVs each time. <laughs> the Pokemon that beat it. I, I don't really think that matters, but, but I'm going to also show you guys um, a fandom page on it and show you like all the stats. So, Zap Cannon, I, I, I missed, I missed, I need to sacrifice my fake tears Pokemon, um, I 
I need to sacrifice Jinx. I don't know what else I can do. Uh, oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, that must have been my suck. Flame Spear. Yeah, it's not going to get fully paralyzed there, sadly. I'm pretty sure, like, Heat Wave has, like... I forgot what it accuracy Heat Wave has. It's 90 accuracy, and I've been missing those, like, half... I've been missing those, like, every single time. I've only hit those one. Uh, out of the three times that I've done those once on camera. Uh... Okay, there we go. It does get significant damage. So, Mega Pidgeot, definitely a very good idea. So, I'm going to switch into Groudon here. And Fire Blast it. Boom. Freeze Cannon. Dude, I might actually lose this. This isn't good. Typhlosion and Flamethrower. Oh! They used repair? I forgot that it could do that. Oh, uh, I'm frozen. I, I'm frozen. I'm frozen. Oh, uh, ha ha. Um. No! Dude! So this is what makes it so hard. Is there pairs? Once it starts hitting you with those pairs, ah! Well, I lost. It is no longer paralyzed and will not go for a pair. That was embarrassing. Like, I'm a champion. Like, I'm a champion. I... Look at look at this. Look at this. Don't mind my rated rank. Don't mind that. I'm not very good at rated. I'm not good at not using legendary Pokemon. I forgot that you could <laughs> use mythical Pokemon at rated. So I just got destroyed by my friend using a Zero Aura. But this is the team that you want to use. I'll go over it once again. So you're going to want to get Deoxys Speed Form, Zap Cannon. You're going to want to get any Pokemon that can learn Fake Tears. And then you're going to want to get five Fire Pokemon or Pokemon that no strong, priority special moves. But I'm just going to save the game. Make sure to add me on Roblox. Uh, I am T underscore lover zero 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 or five zeros and then one. You can just I might have no, I'm not going to have a link in the description. But I am going to leave the game. Please add me. Uh, then you're going to want to search. So I'm just going to search Aegis MK11 and search or you can search Entity so, it says Entity is a trainer NPC located in Route 8 in the corner where the last trainer in the route is looking adjacent to the entrance of Celadon City, as I've said. So, it's level 100, not affected by Destiny Bond or Transform, and again, yields um, to attack Eevee's. So it is. Ha so this entity has only one Pokemon on their team. It is MK11, a Pokemon with abnormally high stats and high-powered moves. These moves are exclusive to this Pokemon and are insanely strong. These are its moves that it knows: Flame Spear, 
is a 180 base power fire type special move, which has a 50% burn chance and a 50% flinch chance, and it can do both. And then he has Freeze Cannon, which is, again, a 180 power move, 180 power special move, but this time it's Ice type. And it's, and it also has a 50% chance to freeze you. Bullet Spray is a 150 power move, and it hits two to two or three times. And all hits have a 50% chance to lower the defense by one stage. Base power is boosted to 255 with stab bonus. So, this instantly one-shots anything. Also, it's a physical move, so that defense drop really helps. And then it has Repair, which is a, which is a status move that's, that recovers about 75% of your full health and remove s- status effects. And its base stats are 150 HP, 140 HP, or attack... 120 defense, 140 special attack, 120 special defense, and 100 speed. All of these except for um, HP have IVs IVs and EVs that are likely above maximum. And it resists dark, fairy, flying, ice, grass, normal, psychic, and rock. It double resists bug, and it has an immunity to dragon, ground, and poison. And it has an immunity to ground because it has the ability to levitate. And the strategies are... Um... What... Are use Deoxys, Speed, Timid Mewtwo, Electrode, etc. Very fast Pokemon. So positive base one two six Pokemon, or positive base one two six speed Pokemon can add speed it. So what I've said, Deoxys Speed, best bets. Don't have to do any EV. Training, you just have to max out its speed IV with the Pokey Improve. And despite great type coverage and its offensive attacks, none of its moves deal a lot of damage to fire and water types. So bulky fire and water types like, um, like, no, Rush Iron wouldn't be a very good example. Like, um... Like... Uh, I'm having a really hard time thinking of some various Pokemon. Uh, um... Uh, Kyogre for water type. And... Uh... I guess... I really don't... I guess Entei for fire type, and it can, and it can also use repair to heal everything. So the first method is paralyze and reduce speed. Aegis MK isn't the fastest Pokemon in the game. You can still have to speed it. Pokemon over three hundred and eighty-five speed can guarantee. Can guarantee a first turn Thunder Wave on Aegis MK11. The lead Pokemon will more often than not immediately fate or land an extra hit before fainting, where a Pokemon with a speed reducing move like Rock Tomb or Icy Wind can come in and reduce Aegis MK11's or MK11's. Speed to a manageable level, 255, or 254, even after it uses Repair to cure its Paralysis. After this, the remaining Pokemon on your team should be able to wear down Aegis MK11. 
And the Leech Seed strategy, you just need to use Thunder Wave on Aegis and Leech Seed to see what happens when the Pokemon use Leech Seed Faints. I will guarantee to you that this may not work if your Pokemon aren't strong enough. The percentage of this working is about 68% for regular slash good Pokemon team and about 81% for Eevee and Ivy train team. So, Deoxys, so my method is definitely better if you don't have uh, time to Eevee train. So, the V create strategy. You need to take a level 100 Victini, Eevee trained in attack and speed, a Chandelure Eevee in special attack and speed, training the Chandelure in speed is optional, and also take Deoxys as the move Thunder Wave, enter the battle. Also, um, instead of Thunder Wave, um... A uh, very a better move is flat is zap cannon, although it doesn't have one hundred percent accuracy. It is definitely it is it always paralyzes Pokemon when it hits, so it would be very good. So and then switch into the teeny when Deoxys faints use V create. Victini can tag Flame Spear and maybe if you can, if it's alive for another turn, use V Create again. This might fail, but it will work at times. Once Victini dies, Chandelure and then overheat. By then, Aegis will be dead. There is an 85% chance for this to work as Aegis knows the move repair. So, yeah, basically every strategy that involves just paralyzing it and then lowering its defensive stats and then absol and then trying to absolutely destroy it works about 75 to 85% of the time. Um as it does no repair, which can get rid of paralysis and 75, which can get rid of any status conditions, and 75% of the damage of its full HP. So, Shock, Fire, and Awe. Four Fire-type Pokemon and Pokemon with the move Fake Tears and a Deoxys Asshole Zap Cannon. This is the one that you're going to want to use. Use Zap Cannon to paralyze him. Aegis, then use Fake Tears to lower his defense. You can now just use your fire types. How Fire and Awe works. Go catch a Deoxys and change it to Deoxys S. Catch a Jinx of Snow Canyon and then get yourself a Chandelure or Halzoom. EV train them all in special attack and speed. You don't have to EV train them. I, I didn't EV train any of my Pokemon, and I've beaten it three out of four times. So, EV training is definitely not required. But, catch a Jinx at Snow Canyon, and then get yourself Chandelure or Haldoom. Then, EV train all Pokemon, all of your Pokemon in special attack and speed. Make sure Deoxys S has paralysis move that can hit always. And, Haldoom slash Chandelure has overheat and that drinks has face has fake tears so you don't have to really do that because um deoxys ass with zap cannon does quite solid damage and also it can uh, always paralyzes that so none of your pokemon will have to worry about um getting outsped Unless you have very slow Pokemon. Jinx, not even your Jinx needs to be uh, EV train in speed. As long, it can always outspeed no matter what. So, Zap Cannon or Thunder Wave, either work. Then send out Jinx after Deoxys faints. And when Jinx, and use figures, and when Jinx faints, it's time for Hound Doom or Chandler. You can use Overheat and you win the battle instantly. And that is how you beat it.
that is it. Everybody, remember, add me on Roblox. Um, I'm kitty underscore lover zero 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 one. Just search kitty and you'll probably find me. <laughs> About nothing. Report abuse. How's that abusive? But, um, this is what my avatar looks like. And this is my name. So, well, everybody. Oh, yeah, also, make sure to join the Amethyst community group. Well, this is Raptor signing out. Hope y'all have a great day. Peace.